नमस्ते टू एवरी वन नमस्ते सर मिला दीदी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते तारा प्रसन्ना जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री एंड इन यू एच वी थ्री वी वर ऑन द लास्ट मॉड्यूल वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ह्यूमन कॉन्डक्ट द रेजोल्यूशन and a holistic way of living so in that we were talking about in lecture 22 we had several discussions about the conduct in terms of the self in terms of the policies regarding self body and um physical facility and in terms of character the expression so initially the knowledge understanding with that you know that is the values and we discussed all the values then we talked of the policy bringing out these values and then finally the expression in the form of the character so essentially what we can do is you know once we have the clarity of what to do what not to do as a human being then we can make the plan or the program for what how to go about doing this and only when we plan it when we sort of churn it within and see how to go about it then finally we can express it outside and this shows up in the form of our character so essentially our behavior our conduct in fact our whole character is expressing this whole chain within us of seeing what is of value making a program for it and then expressing it out and yesterday we had given the same assignment as we had done before the previous day because we didn't get to really discuss that and it is significant in the sense that we you know in our living are we able to bring this if we are able to bring this in our living then we can say that yes we have understood if we are not able to bring this in our living then somewhere it is there as information as thoughts but then we are not really we haven't really imbibed it so if we just take you know in terms of behavior justice and mutual happiness are we ensuring that in our behavior with all now this is a very small sentence or a phrase but if we look at it it requires lot of exploration lot of churning lot of seeing within and reflecting on how our behavior has been are we really doing justice in all our interactions so if anybody has any thoughts on this or any observations to make we'll take those before we go on to the next chapter the next lecture which is lecture 23 where we will talk about the wisdom uh, namaste namaste didi namaste to all namaste uh, yes didi means i have been listening to it very regularly yes and that self introspection is going on because that is the more means that is where we all have to work yes. and when when other co explorers ask questions so that makes us even better clarity is there so thankful to all uh, so i just want to share that okay uh, that uh, relationship part means justice as you are asking that i can see around in my family first of all mm-hmm. uh, first of all with my mother uh, she mm-hmm. 
Um, she's going to be 81 this month only. Uh, so I'm finding a relationship with her uh, very nice and because she's age problems are there and all and then she because uh, uh, with relationship you get happiness with that feeling of trust starting with that earlier there used to be some irritation before uhv if i compare mm -hmm. even with my mother some some her preconditionings and all but now i think uh, with this uhv working on ourselves self-exploration that uh, means complementarity uh, means is there and i'm finding more i mean meaningful and relationship with her means she also now because this is justices means you can even evaluate uh, that okay it is reaching there and it is you can evaluate that she is also uh, feeling like that because she uh, even openly says to everyone that okay uh, she can uh, feel that feeling from our side and she even openly publicly says that she is being taken care of very nicely nice. for everything. It's not that earlier we were not taking care of physical and all physical, but I feel because I can understand this because I am doing UHV. So I can understand this UHV which has made the difference. And uh, she is very cheerful and happy, uh, happier. Then because I'm spending more time with her now, even uh, more and more time with her and, and listening to her. This is about mother. And then even my brother, elder brother, he's again elder brother, five years elder to me. So again, the trust and, and that also, I have found that that bonding has uh, get, uh, getting stronger day by day that irritation because this is what we understand that when the irritation is there or like that that is an indication that the trust and then respect is lacking yeah. but when uh, we have that uh, means uh, peace and all satisfaction because uh, uh, that four parts is still difficult to understand that okay i'm trying to do that and then all that natural acceptance, you are comfortable from inside that, that is more important, I feel. So I'm finding, so these are the two relations where I'm finding that, because again, elder brother, a lot of preconditionings and a lot of irritation used to be there, uh, even with him sometimes. And it used to come in your behavior as character, you say that she, he used to tell me that, okay, why are you getting, uh, why are you getting louder? Um, and then all that. But now I'm finding that these words are not coming from uh, his side, and means that means that evaluation that that it is uh, working on myself, and it is showing also outside as behavior in character what I have understood. Yeah. These are two relationships which are very near, and I can uh, tell earlier and now the difference. Yes, especially for the last uh, uh, this one again this last session I think has been very nice, and because this. UHV3 thing again we have gone into deeper uh, deeper and deeper so this I think is even helping better really nice. put my feedback yeah thank you Didi thank you UHV for all thank you yeah it is very rewarding very satisfying when you can see that earlier your behavior was not mutually fulfilling and so there was irritation, there was conflict on both sides, disharmony. But now, if you can see more and more of harmony within you, and you can see mutual happiness, mutual fulfillment, then it is certainly very rewarding. Nice sharing. Thank you, Swapanji. Namaste, Didi. Yes. Uh... My sharing is also just like Bhaiya just shared mm -hmm. uh, that earlier the kind of relationship that I had with people around and now the type of relationship that I am having with people around uh, very well, there is a difference between that. Though I have not shared anything, I have not said anything to anyone but 
in my own understanding many things i am seeing that many things that i used to think a certain way before i started uhv journey and those similar things those similar types of events if they happen now so my this response is different nice so there is definitely a change but yes the perf- the desired state that is still not achieved where you have relationship with all sometimes even now sometimes the harmony is disturbed because of the preconditioning or because of lack of trust somewhere mm-hmm. even day before yesterday so it's raining here in ncr region for the last two three days and the day before yesterday also it was very heavily raining so one of the faculty members she was late so she missed the bus and whatever happened between the hr and uh, that faculty member i was there but i could see the lack of understanding between them also though i was not involved but i could see that there is a lack of understanding in both of them they are they both are freshers uh, they are uh, new they have uh, experience in months but the way they handled this situation so i even talked to the hr i talked to both of them because uh, the faculty member she is a girl fresher girl in my department only and i talked to hr also that be a little compassionate towards her she is just a fresher so she needs more you know more support and uh, you cannot compare her to anyone who is say 10 or 15 years experienced mm-hmm. so many at many places had i been the, the earlier one so how can you say so something to my uh, department faculty member so, mm-hmm. so that kind of thing would have uh, come inside and i would have uh, joined her also some in in the extreme case i would have joined her also <laughs> to argue with the hr person but i did not join the argument i was just sitting outside and i separately talked to both of them that this is not the way you handle such situation so such situations are exceptional mm-hmm. and even in my case also i had some problems in with few people in my family but still within me i feel a kind of change in the way i look at our relationship without even talking to them with a little understanding with just observing things i am seeing that the problem is within me only there may there may be problem but the more i am able to see my side of problem that okay this is my problem and i have to work upon it and i am working upon it i hope that with passage of time things will be you know better in a better state it's very nice that you are seeing where you are lacking so once you start building your competence then you can probably have a discussion with the other and um, express your concern for them once you discuss with the other you know, express yourself and the other is also able to see your concern they may be more assured in you because they right now they might be going only by past experiences so as your yes. competence grows then you can also approach them more easily yes. thank you didi ji nice thank you didi namaste didi sabhi ko namaste i also like to share few things didi yeah yes didi it is very true my life has changed a lot lot of improvements more and more moments of happiness and harmony in my life didi that is for sure and one interesting observation i would like to share didi also i had shared in the earlier session of uhv my husband as soon as he gets ready for the work he expects his coffee to be ready didi if i am attending the morning session he used to bang the door he used to make some noises and gestures that his coffee is not ready i am talking to 
the resource person in the morning session or I'm listening like that, he used to make all such noises and disturbances. Devi. Last week, while I was discussing with you, Devi, I was so immersed in the discussion that I forget to prepare the coffee. I was surprised, Devi, my husband made some gestures. You prepare coffee and go and come like that, you made the gestures, Devi. He was also able to understand that I'm attending the session and he also mean not to disturb me, Didi. So it was a very pleasant surprise to me, Didi. So I could clearly see visible changes in his behavior also, Didi. That is only because of my change in behavior, Didi, that I have to acknowledge in this forum, Didi. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Really different experience and surprise for me, Didi, that was one. Uh, we can also discuss, you know, like with the spouse, so behavior change is something you can see in the expression. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, how the other is, you know, if we have concern for them, we can express it to them. That mm -hmm. will reassure them even more. Mm -hmm. nice. Sure, I will do that. Okay. One question also from, from my side, Didi. Yeah. Still, I'm not able to... Uh, come to a conclusion, Didi, that I am 100% responsible for my life. I am the owner. That ownership, I am not able to have it within me, Didi. In my day-to-day -day li uh, living, still I could see when something goes wrong, I am unhappy. I undergo that suffering also. And still I am thinking that others are responsible. Uh, still I am not able to come out of that, Didi. Uh, that is still there, Didi. I am responsible for what? I am responsible for my life. I am 100% Life means what? That happiness, unhappiness, whatever ah, happens. That is, is my state, no? within me, my feeling. Mm -hmm. Can you see that sometimes the same behavior with somebody else, sometimes I react and sometimes I respond. Does it happen? Yes, yes, baby, yes, baby. So now, if the behavior was responsible, then every time I should behave a certain way or I should feel a certain way if that behavior is responsible for my feeling, isn't it? But mm -hmm. we'll notice that even with the same behavior, say somebody shouts, but if I am feeling comfortable inside, I let it go. I say it doesn't matter. Maybe he's tired. Maybe he said this like this. Maybe whatever, he has had a hard day at work or something like that. But the same behavior, sometimes I react mm. and I start shouting back. So mm. if the behavior was responsible, why is this change, so much change in me? So you'll notice that every time you have a choice and what is happening is perhaps we may not be referring to the natural acceptance at that moment which means what? Lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. So certainly we have to work on it. Certainly it's not so simple. Mm -hmm. And we say every moment, because your feeling keeps changing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if I have the right feeling right now for my spouse, for every person, doesn't mean the next moment I will have the same feeling Unless with awareness, I make the right choice. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we have these very deep-rooted sanskars. So if I have a deep-rooted sanskar that I am separate from the other, I may not be able to see my relationship. Unless with awareness, I check with my natural acceptance. So as you notice this, it's good to notice even after the fact, because even after the fact, you can reflect on it and you can see that however you behaved, if you reacted, you can also notice whether you were comfortable at that time or uncomfortable. And then you can visualize how it could have been, your behavior could have been. Because you refer to your natural acceptance and you evaluate and you see that, okay, 
my feeling was not in line with my natural acceptance at that moment so if it was in line then how would my behavior have been you can visualize this then mm. what's going to happen with that is each time you do this you are reinforcing that checking with the natural acceptance mm. so you will do it it's like a reminder i need mm. to refer to my natural acceptance so as you do it more and more the moments will become more and more when you are in line with your natural acceptance mm. so like you mentioned yourself moments of harmony are increasing Mm-mm. still not completely there that's okay but as long as you can see that you are on the path and you can see that you are moving in the right direction that's okay but if you feel that you can do more then perhaps you need to refer to the natural acceptance more often have more awareness at more moments then you will see more change mm-hmm. yeah like a small thing did uh, we few faculties were there in the coffee shop mm-hmm. and we are supposed to give just 50 rupees did mm-hmm. and people were hesitating and i was wondering every time i am giving like that the thought comes did so that made me very bad for just for 50 rupees i am thinking a lot i am always giving like that some such so very very silly thoughts are coming did every time i'm only giving like that that bondage is not coming didi in some situations that i felt very bad didi even after all these years i am not ready to spend the 50 rupees for a coffee like that things are coming didi that makes me very sad and very worst of myself like that i'm thinking and feeling bad about myself didi yeah so see feeling bad is not going to help in the situation because uh, that also is a feeling which is not naturally acceptable to me isn't it so seeing mm-hmm. that okay if i supposing these are my relatives because ultimately i am related to all i may not be able to see it supposing these are my close family relatives and i am doing this for them either you know i can do it willingly yeah i can see that i am feeling prosperous i have sufficient so 50 rupees is not a big thing for me mm-hmm. but at the same time if i even if i want to you know draw their attention to it i can do so in a nice manner you know without hurting the other offending the other without hurting the other you no know? mm mm-hmm. there will be many creative ways i can find of um bringing up such issues but the important thing is having the right feeling mm mm-hmm. no lot of things we do like this what you are mentioning you ask yourself why you are doing it if you don't feel comfortable doing it is it perhaps that the others think the right feeling the others have the right feeling for you is that why we are doing it or why we are doing it if we feel um that every time i have to do see we do things and we keep feeling bad you know having a feeling not naturally acceptable mm-hmm. but then we don't do anything about it <laughs> so either we resolve it within ourselves and if we don't want to um of course the resolution within has to happen otherwise without that you are going to be unhappy mm-hmm. that has to take place and also if we need to express something outside we can do so with concern we need not have you know the behavior is a certain way but inside we are not feeling the same thing then of course there is bound to be conflict no it's like inside i am saying no i don't want to but outside i am doing it so of course there will be conflict of course i will be unhappy and the other may not even know about it but i can ask myself mm. if i feel i am prosperous 
and i want to share willingly certainly by all means we can do it do it joyfully mm-hmm. but if i am miserable then let me address this why am i miserable what is the problem ask yourself that question you will see where you are stuck no yes please that three condition to be this time i am giving next time you have to give third time that person has to give like that i am having to give if they are not giving i am getting disturbed didi and so we can we just say like that, that we'll do this by turns everybody do one one day we'll all treat each other and you can mention it in a casual way but we don't talk about it yeah yeah yes yes didi and we keep feeling inside some mm-hmm. very true didi unhappiness and i'm sure the other may not even think about it much and they will be quite willing but we mm. don't even talk about it and within we are miserable for so much time no so yes, this is what being transparent whatever is inside first of all bringing it in line with natural acceptance and then letting it flow outside also expression so that was the thing i was wondering didi one end i am thinking about realization and all other end just for 50 rupees i am just spoiling my entire evening didi so that was it is how it is for many of us see uh, what happens is that in thought we have reached a certain level we are we are gaining all this information but in living a lot of times that awareness is gone mm. later when you reflect on it and you say you know what is 50 rupees 50 rupees you would have spent for so many other things we waste so much money here and there mm-hmm. for the relationship we are willing to do this what is there there mm. is you know if you look at what you have and how much you actually need you might find that you already have abundant mm-hmm. isn't it so then okay. you don't you don't it doesn't pinch you like this mm-hmm. when we give undue importance to something to the physical facility and we undermine the relationship because of it it is bound to disturb us mm-hmm. no yes please okay thank you thank you so much didi good morning didi good morning good morning to all i uh, shared earlier that I stopped talking to my friend. Mm-hmm. Phone for, um, I I called her three four times and she could not pick phone. She said she was busy. I stopped talking to her. And I have sent a beautiful message to her. Uh, now, but I can see that her intention was not bad. She might be really busy. I think. this is going to change uh the situation between her and me she, uh, although she did not stop sending messages to me but i uh, did not respond but today is the first time that i responding and i i have sent a beautiful message in the morning this is the first thing uh and the second is my yesterday's experience it was raining cats and dogs and our house is at a uh, lower level you can say and water entered yesterday in all the rooms mm-hmm. so my daughter and myself and we were busy taking out water and then uh, cleaning stuff etc and my husband went upstairs and my daughter was getting angry the papa is not doing anything we are doing and it took us 3 hours you know and uh, i could not uh, cook rice we were supposed to have kadhi chawal yesterday but um, uh, we could not eat uh, without cleaning and then she was getting angry but i was for the first time i was not getting mad at my husband i asked her to call him and uh, cook rice so she called him 
he came down and for the first time he could rise without reacting i think this happened just because he was noticing some change in me and he uh, responded in a different way and my daughter was also surprised so what happened to papa today and that this was uh, you know uh, a miracle for us uh, firstly it's very credible i think that you are able to see the changes that you are feeling within yourself that's one yeah. thing i think it's uh, very rewarding for you to be able to see the change that is expressed in somebody else which you feel is largely because of the change in you also yeah. i would like to suggest that you know when we see this we can also plan things in a little better way that when there is all this work involved Mm-hmm. then we can suggest to the other person see this is also to be done that is also be done and if you, you know i won't be able to do it in time and we may not be able to eat in time so either you can help with the cleaning or if you like you know can you do this now there's nothing wrong in asking this way no so we yeah. can plan it such that we can all be comfortable and we can eat at the right time also and do the work also you know the communication part sometimes that breaks because we have assumed something about the other the other has assumed something about us and we don't have the right feeling and therefore we can't communicate or we block the communication we don't communicate so now if we can see that my feeling is right then with concern i can always suggest to the other no i'm sure the other will not yeah. refuse if i say that i am having difficulty doing both these can you help with one of them the mm-hmm. other person will but we don't say it like this we start with the wrong feeling and we say i am here doing all this and you are not doing anything no yeah. already yeah. that feeling of opposition we start the other also reacts and then it becomes a bigger and bigger argument so again mm-hmm. it starts with me my feeling i have to check okay. my feeling and with that right feeling i can express to the other with concern with help you know, ask for help and the other mm-hmm. you will find the other may not have any issue in helping so all these mistakes that we have committed in the past on both sides it takes mm-hmm. some time to get past those and if your behavior is definite several times in a row you know each time you interact then the other person starts getting reassured in you which you are also seeing and then it becomes the relationship blossoms more and you are able to communicate something more than just what to do what not to do do this do that you are able to communicate how you are feeling how the other is feeling those kind of issues So it will grow mm-hmm. ji thank you baby thank you so i think now uh, this time we went to the next lecture lecture 23 we're talking in this lecture largely about the wisdom we said that we desire continuous happiness and this is my need the need of the self for this i have to look towards the activity of the self nothing outside and with the right understanding right feeling right thought i feel happy so this is what we said what is resolution is this whole you know these nine points that we can see starting with clarity of how things really are what we call right understanding so we spoke of right understanding in a lot of detail being able to see things as they are being able to see the reality with that picture in mind now we will talk about the wisdom to see what is our goal right 
so we identify the human goal which is in line with how things are existentially and we said we are trying to find out what to do as a human being what not to do so once we have this clarity about you know the reality about how things are about my role as a human being in this existence then we can see the human goal and we can formulate this human goal also in different ways one way is in which we formulated it in the uhv2 where we talked about the goal at the personal level at the level of family at the level of society and at the level of nature and existence we will also look at another formulation later which is uh something that has been there in our tradition but we'll look at that later first of all we look at how we have been formulating it and you are familiar with this in the uhv2 you can see that there were four parts to this goal because we are living at all these levels so we have to see for instance every individual at the level of the self you want this happiness you want to be at peace you want this satisfaction within you want this continuity of happiness and for that you need the right understanding right feeling and thought right understanding on the basis of seeing the existence seeing having clarity of how things are the right feeling because now seeing things as they are you see the relationship and seeing your relatedness with all you have the right feeling and when you have the right feeling then accordingly now you have thoughts on how to go about with this feeling so you have the right thought and that leads to continuity of happiness this is possible in every individual and for every individual that is my goal isn't it because i am working for continuity of happiness i want that i see it as a need of the self at the level of family with every person having this right understanding and being able to see you know uh, how to go about it with that happiness there now in the family we work together to have this not just happiness and prosperity because as long as the body is there you also need to have some plan some program for physical facility so to be able to understand firstly how much we require and then to make effort to acquire that you know producing and at the same time working together as a family as a unit so that there is prosperity in the family then if every family is prosperous in society nobody needs to snatch anything from anybody because everybody has sufficient everybody is able to see how much is required identify that correctly and be able to work for it then in society there can be fearlessness there can be trust now there is no need to exploit now no need to try to grab from somebody else because we can see that we can have sufficient so that was that would be how the society would look like and in terms of nature and existence living in coexistence with mutual enrichment not just working for our own prosperity but also enriching nature making up for the gaps that we have created in the past like all this you know pollution deforestation all this that we have done making up for those gaps so planting more trees cleaning up the rivers you know things like that so we talked of these 
four goals um, in UHV2. With this, now how to achieve this? Not in a, not just in an individual, but also in the family, in the society, in nature. It's a very big task, isn't it? So we spoke of five dimensions through which we can realize this, we can actually achieve this. Those dimensions that we spoke of, one is education sanskar, so that everybody has opportunity to have this understanding. Then health and sayam, so that we can take care of the body, we can have the feeling of self-regulation within us and be able to take care of the body and rightly use the body for its purpose, which is to help in the purpose of the self, ultimately put it to the right use. We spoke of production and work. So when we are talking of prosperity and we require, you know, we identify that for the body you need food. So to be able to produce, to be able to work with nature and to be able to um, have not only prosperity for ourselves, but also to be looking out for the nature. Then justice and preservation. Justice in our relationships with other human beings, being able to have fulfilling relationships so that there is mutual fulfillment because that leads to happiness for me and happiness in the other when I do justice in my relationships and preservation when it comes to the nature. And then exchange and storage. So rightfully having, um, you know, um, when we have the physical facility or when we are exchanging the physical facility between each other, then having fair exchange, not trying to grab more than what I need, not exploiting the other, but doing a fair exchange. And also the physical facility that I already have to make sure that, you know, we store it in the right manner so that, say with the weather, it doesn't get spoiled. No? So store it in a, such a way that it can be used in times to come without, um, uh, you know, um, without it getting destroyed because of, say, bad weather, rainy weather, or whatever else. So grains like we store. No? Um, if we don't store in a dry place, take care of, say, uh, some way to uh, not have it get infested with insects and things, then it can be of use later. That does not mean that we hoard, but we are able to rightly identify the need and maybe keep a little extra. And if we have more than that, then we will share with others. So in these five dimensions, we talked of them earlier. So that way we can detail out how to go about, you know, at the level of society. But this clarity that I, I need to have this happiness within and my, for my happiness, I need to also work at all the levels of my living. So in the family, in the society, in nature and existence. And I can use 
you know, through all these dimensions, I can try to work out in a way that we are moving towards the universal human order. So that each person has the similar opportunities. Each person can be working towards right understanding, right feeling, and right thought through these different ways. And then we spoke of the 10 steps from family order to world family order. So starting with the family, we start with the family. We see within the family, you know, right now we can see that even with our immediate family relationships, we may be having some problems because we have so much of, so many mistakes we have done in the past. So correcting or making amends for those mistakes, moving forward, having a better understanding within the family, having prosperity and happiness within the family, and then moving, increasing this view to a larger and larger, um, so the, increasing this circle to a larger and larger area so that we can include others. Right now, I see my relatedness perhaps with my immediate family, but to see my relatedness with my immediate neighbors with um, the community and so on. So working for not just myself, but the family, not just the family, but moving to a family cluster, to the village, to a village cluster, to a nation, we can go all the way up to the world family. That possibility is there and we need to work for it. So you can see that in the field of education sanskar, we are trying to do a lot of work, the UHV um, programs, the workshops, the um, courses that are being designed, that are being worked at, so that everybody has an opportunity to look at this. And started with the engineering colleges, but then it is spreading to the schools and Ultimately, we can see that everybody needs this. So working towards that, that is a possibility. And that if we see it as a goal, then we work towards it. Uh, namaste. Uh, I have a question. I become emotional. Tears may uh, remain in, in, within my eyes. Rather, my eye, within my eye, I feel uh, humility. Uh, whenever I find some emotional connect, like it happened today when Gita Didi was sharing uh, uh, that she want to explore but she is finding it difficult so I could see her uneasiness sometimes I also see like that on different occasions on different events so on that I found that uh, the quality of tears is different when I become emotional when I'm having relationship with someone when somebody beats me that the quality is different so my question here is, when my eyes become humid or uh, I become tearful, is it, a, uh, is it good or bad? And uh, I'm unable to see my feelings behind that. I have been try I'm trying consistently uh, so long, but uh, I'm unable to resolve this. Ji, Didi. Yeah. So unfortunately, that is what it is that Ultimately, you know, the expression is in the form of tears. Now tears, we may get tears when we are very unhappy, when we are sad, when we are grieving. But at the same time, we have moments when we are overwhelmed with something good that is happening. So what we call tears of joy. So the, the tears can happen in both circumstances. Important thing is, what is the feeling behind it? So now for the feeling behind it, one thing that you can see is, are you comfortable with this or you are uncomfortable with it? If you're feeling uncomfortable, chances are you have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you. But if you're feeling comfortable with the tears, that means you probably have a feeling which is naturally acceptable to you. 
so as you keep exploring this as you keep referring to your natural acceptance slowly you will be able to see that feeling also within you yeah uh, didi i find uh, very uh, comfortable with this i am happy with the, these moments but simultaneously i find it abnormal also because sometimes it happens in public place also in the family also so they say like that that uh, why you have become so emotional uh, that the others are not in those moments so in that say i'm in a state of conflict whether i'm joy i'm joyful there's no second thought to it uh, simultaneously uh, i find abnormal also so no why would we consider it abnormal somebody struggles to achieve something when they finally achieve it you will see often on stage in front of public they start having tears isn't it ji did it ji so you when you feel strongly about something you can have tears in the eyes important thing to see is is the feeling at that time one which is in line with the natural acceptance or not in line because that makes all the difference right am i Ji. comfortable with it uncomfortable with it that is important i wouldn't consider it abnormal at all ji ji and if ji. i can rightly evaluate myself then what the other is saying doesn't have so much impact on me no ji 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 yeah thank you didi namaste thank you. namaste so this also we are familiar with we spoke of this in the second f to b regarding our goal what to do what not to do as a human being we said you know as a goal these four goals from human being all the way up to nature and existence but when we don't understand this then there can be all sorts of assumptions that money is everything we need to accumulate that is what will lead to happiness and all of that which we may be seeing in society therefore there is domination there is fear there is exploitation in society and we also are seeing so many problems that we have created in nature but the way out of it is to be able to see what is right what to do how to go about it rather than to focus on the present state being not the way it is because ultimately just discussing the problem is not going to help solve if each of us work on ourselves and work for helping in this process so that we can have prosperity in the family we can have trust in society we can live in coexistence with nature then ultimately we can work towards that and actually get there rather than focus on the problem so this way we can work on the solution or rather the resolution ji 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 thank you thank you for enriching session thank you to all our co explorer to uh, take part in the discussion namaste